Hello, my warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior Online. What magic is that? Barra playing Mech Warrior Online? Hell yeah, let's go for it. I thought we were playing enough of Battletech and Mech Warrior 5. I wanted to challenge myself against actual players and actual human beings and not AI. So there we go. We are playing the Bludgeon today, by the way. This is a Warhammer 2C hero mech, but generally I just wanted to play something that has a lot of PPCs, especially clan PPCs. So you can take this build here and put it on any other mech that is in the same category. Something like the Warhawk, for example, runs this perfectly. But again, I, I like the Warhammer, I like the Warhammer silhouette, and uh, therefore we're gonna take this. Now, the Bludgeon is an 80-ton mech, and as you can see, we are running a Clan XL engine 325 that gets us to an incredible amount of speed here. The incredible amount for an assault mech. I like being at about 60-ish kph, and even better if I can go a little higher. Also, the 325 allows us to put extra double heat sinks into the mech, which is absolutely fantastic, because we need a lot of them since we are running four ER PPCs. The heat management overall is okay if you take your time, but what you want to do is you want to just set up somewhere and then you just want to peek, shoot a barrage of two PPCs and then another barrage of two PPCs, get back. You can do it again, but then you will reach a 100% heat. So uh, you need to, you know, cool down and uh, reposition, take the time and uh, do something that makes sense between the shots. That is what I'm saying here. We also have access to a targeting computer and even a jump jet to actually help us a little bit getting over obstacles. But, you know, it's just a minor thing. I didn't, um, you know, have enough room or let's say I didn't want to put another double heatsink in here uh, since uh, I didn't know what to do. So we had to take this out and this out to put another double heatsink in here. And then there was another turn open. With that, I could have upgraded the head armor, but then I had to sacrifice my... Uh, targeting computer, therefore, again, it's, it's a nice thing to have. It's not really necessary, but it's a nice thing to have. Again, very straightforward build, performs at range, doesn't really perform in a brawl, but you can defend yourself because it doesn't have a minimum range anyway. The build, in terms of skills, looks like that. I was going for a good chunk of heat gen as much as possible while going down the left and right arm here, and I was going for uh, the velocity path on the right side, so we could also get extra heat gen down here and a bit of cooldown. That's very nice to have. I was also almost maxing out my armor hardening at my skeletal density since the mech is not the fastest mech in the universe. It still runs 64 kph, but the turn rate is not great. And um, sometimes you struggle actually getting back to cover and sometimes you're going to catch some return fire when you are peaking. I also wanted, obviously, maximum heat containment and maximum cool run since we are playing a toasty build. And then rated deprivation for good old defensive maneuvers, get back to cover, break locks, you're fine. And then we have double cool shot plus a UAV today. And that's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have it, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Viridian Bog. We are playing a soul and I want to get to the high ground. Want to go probably to the right side because I know enemies are coming from that direction. Hello, Raven. And we're going to shoot them. We're going to shoot them with our PPCs. And I want to want to try to hit something early on. Maybe intimidating them because, you know, shaping armor early is quite a nice move to do. I mean, if you are if you are coming in with half of your armor, you might as well uh, not come in with armor at all. And that's what I'm saying here. So let's go in. Let's go over here. I want to try to just get that quick angle and then we could probably retract to the... Really? All right. Okay, cool. Pew! All right. One of them hit and another one, but only one. And now I'm going back because those lasers, I don't like them. We got a bit of hit in return, but I think we dealt more damage than we received. And Timby is still there. Ah, oh, he pulled back. Damn it. All right. It's on, Mr. Timberwolf. I'm here to fight you. You're up for the fight? You are. That's good. Timby's still here. Another guy. Pow. I mean, again, I am dealing damage. I'm taking a little bit of return fire, but I think the return fire is little enough to not matter too much. Uh, all right, strike coming down. I better back up from this now. And I think they know my position, so they are watching it. I'm gonna go to the other side now, as I want it, so let's go. If they stay there and uh, wait for me to pop up again, that's great, because that's kind of crowd control. Um, let's see. So, our UAV tells us that there's nothing down there in Delta 6. Let's move up to Delta 5. That's a guy. Oh, I made... I messed that shot up so hard. That was such an easy shot. I'm also not able to back up because of friends. So-called friends. Uh, got stuck there on, uh, on another mech. It wasn't a tree. It was a mech. All right, let's go. Where's the guy? There was a guy here. There's a guy. And again, we got hit. And another arty strike. 
Maybe I'm a little bit too aggressive right now. Maybe I should chill a bit more because my team seems very passive, which is fine. I don't want any of that. Thank you. I uh, cannot hit him, right? Not from here. So, yeah, I'm going to stay here a little. Stay a while and listen. That's what Deckard Kane said. And that's what we're going to be doing now. Listing to the right. Trying to save my left side. And whenever there's an opportunity, we're just going to hold it and fire. Uh, I hope that there are some opportunities. And I hope that nobody is going in our backs because our back is open. Not like literally, but we have nobody protecting us there. I need to go. People are moving. And I don't want to be the one staying here dying. Hello. Yeah, Goodbye. Uh, Ooh, this is not great. Where is everybody? This is... Oh, God. And the artillery. And the freaking artillery. So you have some problems with snipers, but I cannot do anything when the roughneck is jumping in front of me all the time. Um, all right, let's go for this guy then. Hello. Ah, damn it. Couldn't quite get him. Still, there's somebody on the high ground. People are moving. That's not great, man. So I'm going to push forward here. This is such a risky move. And now I see the guy. All right, I'm out of here. I am so out of here. I shouldn't push there. Nope. That's not going to happen. High ground. Nope. So, we're going to go back. I want to hide behind the Roughneck because that guy certainly has some extra armor. But now he's pushing forward? Oh, great. So, let's peek in, huh? All right, nothing happening here. Nothing so far. Great. And again, more and more artillery. I'm going to go around the sides here. This is nothing I can do. It's kind of sad that we had to abandon our high ground, because if I stayed there alone, I would have died so hard. So here we go, taking up the ramp, I think. Trying to get an angle on those guys, and I hope that they are busy enough with our skirmishes up here. All right, let's reinforce. Up and up and up, and here we go. <sighs> guy's not damaged enough to actually engage them, right? So, I mean, a night here, maybe. Still, this is kind of cluttered. What about we go to the right side, huh? We have the ECM of the Raven and the Phoenix Hawk. That is beautiful. And we gotta make sure that we're gonna shoot our weapons. Ooh, that's bad. All right. Hello. A little too late. I wonder if the Timby is still there. Mm. They know. They watch this. Fine. Do I contest or not? It's probably a bad idea. And again, we are in our freaking Tillery land. It is so crazy. I should have backed up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to do it now because there's nothing else to do but going in. Uh, they seem to be very attracted to our right side. I cannot believe that I, that I missed a second shot on the blood ass. Okay, we got that. That is good. That is an actual achievement there. The bloody ass is going to go down now. Let's take it. Maybe not. All right. Maybe now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. We got to make that blood ass our goal here to kill it. I mean, it's... I mean, look. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. <sighs> Bloody ass was half down. That's the good news. Bad news is that our, yeah, our friend is probably not going to be that good of a meat shield for us. Pow. Pow. That was great. I think we hit center torso twice. Uh-huh. And now we're getting hot as hell. All right, let's go for Timby's center. Shut down. Oh, we are not. Oh, we are overridden. Over right engaged. That was an important kill. Um, ooh, holy crap. What about the high ground? High ground is not safe anymore. High ground is probably filled with max. So we got to watch this. I also want to push the... This is supernova. Uh, yeah, we're gonna push the, 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 the learn boat down there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna die now. That's my side. Nope, not yet. Oh, God, they have a UAV somewhere. They have to. Oh, God. We're still not dead. That is it. Oh, my God. I wanted to back up there. But, yeah, the UAV killed us. 666 damage taken. Man, I really wanted that vulture. I really wanted it. And then there was the blood ass still, probably? This is where we are falling apart, sadly. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about some missed shots that I had there, but I think overall it was it was quite good. I mean, the 600 damage that we put out was not bad at all. We got a direwolf sniping with ER Larges and LB2s, but I highly doubt that he is able to finish the job. 
Maybe. Maybe. I mean, Shadowhawk all alone. He forgets to press the R button, which means uh, tracking your targets. Get the lock on, buddy. You know where to shoot. He's down. That's good. To the right, buddy. To the right. Yeah, down there. Oh, they have you. They have you. They know where you are. You are getting shot by missiles like I did before. Look at all of them. Holy crap. Get him. He's so damaged. We put a good chunk of holes into them earlier. Ah, it's not gonna... It's not gonna last, I think. Let me quickly go to the Vapor Eagle here, who has the plan of... Doing things. All right. Six and ten. I honestly think we could have won this with a bit more teamwork and a bit more... Um... Uh, target priority in general. Uh, I have the feeling we, as an I as well, we shot a lot of random targets. As a result, didn't really focus our firepower and didn't get the kills fast enough. I think this is what happened here overall. And uh, I do wonder what Mr. Vapor Eagle wants to do. He wants to go back to our base because he probably assumes that my enemies will push it since they don't find our last guy and then maybe ambush them. I don't know. Maybe he's just confused. I don't know. We'll see what happens. He has a tag and some ATMs, 90 missiles are left. And um, hey, he seems to go all the way around. Hmm. So what about it, buddy? Can you take on six enemies at once? I mean, even if he gets one down, there is still the supernova with a lot of missiles in the back that will just, just shoot him to death. Probably. I, I cannot really assess his plan, though. He, he wants to probably stay in cover? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Wants to jump high? Wants to not do anything at all? Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Yes? No? <laughs> are you doing it or are you not doing it? So what is the battle plan? So as far as I can tell, he is waiting currently for my enemies to push base as soon as uh, Betty is announcing base is being captured. He might want to go in and try to get a kill, but not before that seemingly. And he might want to jump up? I don't know. We will see it, guys. We will see it in a second. There's the jump. But I think it's a bit too early. I mean, at that point, he might as well... Yeah. Warning, That's what I mean. He might as well uh, wait it a little bit longer. And that is exactly what I mean. Those LRMs are just devastating. No matter what he does, he is not able to get that supernova down. Not in a direct conflict and not if his friends are close. Like the friends of the supernova. Yeah. GG, anyway, I was having a good time here. So let's uh, take a look at the end score and then we're jumping to the next game. Let's see. Brom96. Yeah, again, I'm a bit I'm a bit unsatisfied because I could have taken the super... Uh, not the supernova, but the blood ass down quickly. I didn't. Anyway, 603 damage, not bad. We took 666. That's a lot taken. We also got a killing blow, we got a solo, we got four assists and we got one component destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Hibernal Rift. We're gonna go to the high ground and we're gonna try to shoot enemies without getting shot in return. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. I'm gonna go over here to the more or left, less, more or left, no, more or less right side. And we're gonna overwatch this area here. So let's see if there's anybody popping up. Uh, this could be a thing. This could be a thing. Uh, enemies could be in Charlie 4, so... Or let's say Charlie 3-ish. So we're gonna move over here as well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anybody there? There's a guy. There's a guy standing. Let's get him. <laughs> Alright, so arms are not really great for weapon convergence. Alright. Hello, mister. You wanna go in there as well? I actually wanna stay here, because this is where the rest of my team is. So let's go ahead and... Yup. Nah, way too high, obviously. But hey, we hit the sand in the back. And I think I wanna do it again. That is some good DMG points. So, let's wait it out. Wait for them to pop. Oh, what? No way. Oh, come on. We're gonna dodge the missiles. I was so close. All right, let me see. There's a guy. Completely didn't see him. That's what it is. All right, so we're gonna move to the right a little bit more. Seems like my team is moving there as well. Awesome seems to, yeah, everybody seems to. So, we go over here and uh, wanna see. Oh, there's an Uziel. Got him twice. That's not bad. And there's a rifleman as well that I want to hit. And, ah, oh man. I think I actually overdid my... Yeah, my exposure here. There's a Tim B. 
going in with pulse lasers. All right, we have a rotation going on. I think I want to be part of it. I mean, I don't, but I think I have to. All right, let's go over here. Here's Dio's yellow twist angle is over, actually. And um, yeah, this is all about uh, getting into a good position that is more defensive than offensive right now. Because again, I don't want to die early on. I want to actually get it to the end. Is a UAV up? That's fine. But I want to stick to my assault max. So they know that we are here. Let's take it down real quick. Here's the UAV down. Okay, so they are probably waiting for us here, right? Right. Here we go. Let the fire starter come. They are not coming. This is difficult because I have to overwatch too much of a of an angle here. There we go. We hit him in the back once. But that's it. With the the friend, the friend in form of a what? Why did I aim so high? The friend of a um, you know awesome. It, it's good to have. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say. All right, pushing through center. Hello. Well, I mean, that's good. Uh, go for the big guys, I guess. And there's my UAV. All right. Let's see if the UAV is giving us some more information. We're actually losing the fight currently. Uh, I guess we have to move. I guess we have to move. We gotta cool down anyway. I'm gonna peek up once here. I wanna see if I can hit something. Not with a Nova peeking. Nah, a little bit too late. And we're gonna push around. Uh, Cause there's a fight going on down here and I don't want to get shot so much at the moment. That's a problem. That's a, it's a problem that I hit. Right, let's push. Let's see. Got him twice. Not bad at all. Our back is getting attacked. Our base is getting attacked. Uh, and we're gonna cool down by using that, that cool shot, which was not the right spot for doing that right now. Problem is we have the Uziel in our backs now. If we don't take care of him, we're gonna lose this. Or we're gonna just get shot in the back. I'm gonna want... I wanna pressure them here by... Moving in like this, I guess. Jenna right side. Got it. Um, actually, let's stay here. So, we want to pressure them by not pushing up. Like, I want them to not push up. That's what I'm saying. Hit him twice, but not great. He's probably coming around here now. I'm the only one defending this position on the right side. Everybody else is on the left. Three and four. Not looking great, especially since we are... Oh, hello. What? Ah, I'm unpleased. Yeah, I'm very displeased with that. Oh, hello. Side torso, huh? No, again, too high. I need to go and, and, and try to not be in the center. I need more people with me. Acquired. Please don't die, Bara. Please don't die. We got some skirmishers here. You got a hit on that guy. I really want the Jenner. Oh, that's a problem. Maybe it's not. But King Crab is out of the game, I guess. He's not really doing that much anymore. Alrighty, it's on with the Jenner. We hit him. Do I want to push out? I guess not. We finally got that guy. Seven and five. Uh, we are hot, though. We are very hot. Ah, no! Nova! Ah, I'm so sorry. And then I killed myself because I was overridden. Oh, the worst, the worst, the worst. I was aligning my shot and then the Nova was pushing in front of me and I was so overzealous that, to, that I could get the Incubus. <laughs> Alright, it's fair. It's absolutely fair what happened. Wait a second, why did we... I mean, yes, we were critical on the side, but then... I guess the side torso exploded. Fair. But the center directly after? How? I mean, yeah, we, we got the overheat damage, but how did it happen so damn fast? I have no idea. Also, do we even hit the Nova? Because this Nova here seems fine. We probably have another Nova. Yeah, that guy. I might have dropped his side also We will see in the end how much team damage I did. But the damage against my enemies was actually quite good. So let's see how the game unfolds and how we're gonna win this year. Because Mr. Vapor Eagle is getting shot by everybody. And then we have <laughs> somebody else who killed himself. Nice. GG. That was a crazy fight. That was such a crazy fight. And the overheat damage. Oh, the overheat kill in the end. It was just glorious. <laughs> let's go down with the boom. Now, we dealt 28 team damage, so yeah, I guess I hit two PPCs against somebody. Uh, oops, sorry. But we dealt 676 to the enemies. We soaked up 500, we got two KMDDs with 8 assists and 1 kill. 
And that is it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this not-so-daily dose of MechWarrior Online. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me doing what I'm doing, there's a link down below in the description that leads to my Patreon page. Hope to see you next time, guys. Goodbye.